Alright, YouTube, we are not promoting any harassment or anything like that over here, okay? This is just a video that I'm reacting to that's still up, okay? Alright, cool. For those of y'all that are wondering why I'm saying this stuff, I got a harassment strike for reacting to a video um, kind of similar to this. Where I wasn't doing harassment, I was really just reacting to a video of celebrities humbling their fans. And I got a I got a random strike for that. It got my video taken down, but the original video is literally still up on that person's channel, which I'm not mad about that. But it's the fact that mine got removed and I got a strike for it. That's insane to me, bro. That's insane. But yeah, let's get into this video though. What's going on, y'all? Hope y'all having a good and blessed life. This one's called Celebrity Shutting Down Disrespectful Fans. Now, we're going to be the judges on this. We're going to see whether they deserved it or not. Or if the or if the celebrity was being a little bit overdramatic. But more than likely, they're not going to be. Because people do be tripping nowadays, bro. Especially when they meet somebody. That's famous. They like they just make G they just met Jesus. You know what I mean? But yeah, let's get into this video. And make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And also, my allergies have been acting up really, really bad. So uh, bear with me. Yeah, let's get into it. Sometimes celebrities just have to put rude fans in their place. Like when professional wrestler John Cena was pushed to his breaking point by a self-absorbed fan who just wouldn't leave him alone. Are you still are you WWE in it? Yes. Wow, whoa. Okay. Nice to see you. I'm with uh, John Cena at WWE in it. Thank you for asking. Why is that you or no, thank you for asking you to I'll I'll get out. I'm already pissed off. I don't even know the whole context of how long he's been bothering this man, but I'm pissed off already for him, bro. You in the WWE, in it? He answers your question. He says yes, and then you do some other shit, and you ask him again. Thank you, bro. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Despite Cena making it clear that he was uncomfortable being recorded, the intrusive fan continued to follow the wrestler with his camera, finally going too far when he offered Cena some unsolicited advice. Take care, bro. Yep. Um, I've got some advice for you. Yes, um, be respectful. Right, I'll be respectful. That's but my advice for you. I'm my my name is... Ask if you can take a video. Or you're just shooting video. No, you know, you know me. I'm respectful. famous. I don't want to talk to you. Cena's voice was shaking with rage, yet he maintained his composure as he addressed the annoying fan, demonstrating a superhuman level of patience. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't treat anyone with respect. Uh, I want respect treat for you. Treat people with respect. I've got Thank respect. you for asking to film my video if, and then filming the entire time I'm in the store. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. Right. I'm a, uh, you know, speaker's corner. I don't care. London. I don't care. I he literally just said he don't care, bro. He does not care. And like, I'm glad that he didn't, I'm glad, shout out to Cena, bro, because I'm glad that he didn't just like, I'm a celebrity, there's no advice you can give me. You know what I mean? At least he wasn't like that, you know? Like, I would have said the same shit in this situation, bro. Like, who told you you can record me? Maybe I want to be low-key right now. Nobody knows where I'm at. And you just recorded the whole store. He's even recording the block now that he, that they're on. Uh, it's crazy, bro. Help people. Thank you very much for being respectful. I'm, I swear, if you need anything, just let me know. And while Cena managed to keep his cool, actor Tom Hanks flipped out when his wife was shoved by overeager fans. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it. Whoa. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Grab the f off. What are y'all doing? What do you want to do? You want crazy, bro? Knock it over my wife. Yeah, they're bugging. Sorry, Tom. Yeah, like. Meanwhile, Puerto Rican rapper Bad Bunny took. Th nah, that would have pissed me off too, bro. That would things into his own hands when a fan invaded his personal. Battle YouTube. We are not promoting harassment over here. This is not what this is. We're just watching disrespectful moments. Yes, I've gotten a strike for that shit. That that uh that just pissed me off. Just thinking about that shit, bro. Because the, the video seemed like it had harassment and I got a strike for it, even though that wasn't what it was. It, it. Puerto Rican rapper Bad Bunny took things into his own hands when a fan invaded his personal space for a selfie. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, seriously, bro. Like he he don't want y'all in his space. You just sitting there all up on him. Many criticized Bad Bunny after the incident, but his actions pale in comparison to what boxing legend Mike Tyson did to an intoxicated fan who incessantly provoked the boxer during a flight. I remember this. This is George talking to Mike Tyson, bro. This shit crazy, bro. Mike Tyson. <laughs> It was only a matter of time before the boxer grew tired of the man's antics and decided to handle the situation Mike Tyson style. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Mike, Mike, come on. Let's go stop back. Let's go stop back. Another celebrity who clashed with a heckler in public was rapper Post Malone, with the encounter initially leaving him too stunned to speak. Post Malone, you a bitch. Now, that just pissed me off because I love Post Malone, man. And, like, people are just so ignorant, bro. Like, the fact that Post Malone has changed completely. And even back then, he wasn't all about, like, disrespect and all that shit like that. But the fact that Post Malone's such a genuine, nice guy. And you're going to say some shit like, well. You suck. That's rude. Thank you so much. You are bitch. Basketball player like, LeBron bro, James. It's people like that that know that nothing's going to happen. And I mean, he wouldn't say that shit with, with the camera off right in front of his face. Like, would also find himself at a loss for words when a Karen hurled insults at him from the sidelines. Hey, watch your mouth, woman. Watch your mouth, woman. Hey. If I remember your face, you better hold my Meanwhile, Golden State Warriors player Steph Curry had no choice but to tell off a group of overly aggressive fans who were crushing a child while scrambling to get an autograph. In this next confrontation, things got physical when model Gigi Hadid was manhandled in the streets of Milan, but not without a fierce response from her as she fought back. What the fuck? He thought he was in a, in a movie or something. That's what? That's not how this goes, buddy. You can't just go pick up a random female. What? The troublesome fan in question was none other than serial celebrity prankster Vitali Saduk, who found himself on the receiving end of a slap from Will Smith when Saduk tried to kiss him back in 2012. Oh my god, a dream. Oh my god, I remember this, bro. Oh. Hey, oh, man, that was your problem, buddy. Similarly, singer Billie Eilish has had to fend off overzealous fans during yeah, that's insane. Not having your hands her on concerts, like that. with one even going so far as to steal her jewelry. Somebody stole my f***ing ring! Oh my god! Oh, I guess it's my fault. Eilish has also had to deal with fans who hurl objects at her while she's on stage, with the singer eventually being forced to confront them directly. Yeah, that's what, like, cause what if she just decides to fucking end the whole concert? All because of one person that threw a shoe. The one dumbass that ruined that shit for everybody cause they wanted to be an idiot. Like, why would you throw this at me? Fans throwing objects at artists can pose serious dangers, as singer B.B. Rexha learned firsthand when a phone struck her directly in the face, requiring treatment at a oh. hospital. It's no surprise that Rexha now has- Oh my god. Oh, yeah, nah, bro. People are so dumb. Zero tolerance for fans who throw their phones at her. If you hit me with something on the stage, I will take you for everything you <laughs> got. Do not play with me right now. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Point it to the person. I want to see him. If you want. Out. Get the out. That's the 
Stranger Things actress Millie Bobby Brown has also expressed her disdain for phones, once famously reprimanding a fan who wouldn't stop filming her. Can you say to the camera, hi Melissa, please? Hi Melissa, there we go. Thank we you. have to live, live in the moment. Put your screens down, live in the moment. Exactly. Thank you so much. Bro, she's so pretty, bro. She's so pretty. Every, every time I see her now, I think of Drake. I can't. While some supported <laughs> the sentiment behind Brown's remarks, others criticized the actress for appearing disrespectful to her fans, similar to the backlash her Stranger Things co-star Finn Wolfhard faced after a 2017 incident in which he ignored fans waiting for autographs outside his hotel. We're really big fans. You might say it. That's so rude. And while Wolfhard so paid no attention to the negative reactions, pop singer Halsey chose to confront her fans directly after they harassed her on Twitter for not stopping to sign autographs. Not for nothing, but I'm getting a lot of really rude messages right now from people saying that I'm f***ed up and I swerved you and I'm being rude and I'm being mean. Like, not for nothing, but I've been impressed since 8 o'clock in the morning. I have a whole day of interviews to do, I'm still doing them. I would never just walk by you and not meet you, so to abuse me like that online is kind of f***ed up. I have a lot more interviews to do, and I promise I'm going to meet people. But please don't be mean to me. I have a very busy day too, okay? So it really makes me upset. Why she, she sound like a little kindergarten teacher talking to a class? And I've noticed something about this video, um... It has no ads in it, so that means that they probably got a strike too as well. I'm not, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah. Please don't be mean to me. However, it was Justin Bieber who most effectively expressed why it's so inappropriate for fans to stalk celebrities outside their hotel rooms and homes. And I don't appreciate you guys being here. You guys can be anywhere I'm my home, you know, that's where I... You know, at the end of the night, when you come home, you want to relax, it's my space to do that. And while Bieber remained calm and courteous in this instance, there have been other occasions when the singer has snapped at fans. I don't blame him, bro. Okay, there's an ad now. There's an ad. The only thing that genuinely confuses me about my video that I did is... My video got removed when the original video was still on here. And it wasn't for copyright strike, bro. It was literally for, it said harassment. When I was reacting to a video of, of, of streamers humbling people. It, I don't know, bro. I don't fucking know. Happy holidays, Justin. It's not gonna happen today. Oh. Do you know okay. when? Bieber would even abruptly cancel a 2015 performance in Oslo, Norway after being overwhelmed by swarming fans, causing the singer to storm off stage in a fit of anger. Come on, I said stop it. Yo, what are you doing? Come on. Guys, yo, listen to me. Are you listening? Okay, I'm trying to wipe the floor. Give me a second, yo. <laughs> Guys, never mind. I'm, I'm done. I'm not doing a show. Yeah, she keeps fucking grabbing the tower that he's trying to... I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I do the same thing. I'm not doing the Country singer Miranda Lambert would similarly take to the microphone to admonish fans who disrupted her performance by taking selfies near the front of the stage. I'm gonna stop right here for a sec, Danny. I'm sorry. These girls are worried about the selfie and not listening to the song. It's pissing me off a little bit. In this next cringeworthy exchange, rapper Kanye West called out what he believed was a disrespectful fan who ignored his demands for the entire crowd to stand up and dance. The only problem was, the fan was actually in a wheelchair. I decided I can't do this song, I can't do the rest of the show until everybody stand up. And I'm gonna see you if you ain't standing up, believe me, never good at that. There's literally two people left with Pascal. There's two people left that don't want to stand up. 
This is the longest I've had to wait to do this song. It's unbelievable. Bro, you shouldn't. I, I'll leave. Uh, if I was there, I would just leave. You're not finna try to make me dance. I'm not happy. Now, if he is in a wheelchair, then it's fine. And is he in a wheelchair there? Only if he's in a wheelchair. I'm sorry. He says cool is a wheelchair. Yet the most it's notorious okay. incident involving unruly fans occurred during the final minute of a 2000. Oh my God, I remember this. 2004 basketball game between the Indiana Pacers and the Detroit Pistons when Pacers player Ron Artest slapped Ben Wallace across the back of the head, sparking a chaotic brawl. Jadine tonight. Ben Wallace was fouled, and Wallace did. Oh, Wallace! Right at Artest. This has potential to be serious if they don't get between. Our test would subsequently lie down on the scorer's table in defiance, with Pistons fan John Green then hurling a drink at our test, who would proceed to charge into the stands and grab another fan who he mistakenly believed was responsible. Go. Now our test has jumped over the scorer's table and is trying to get down to the bench. Our test is in the stands. Oh, this is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. Rasheed Wallace going into the stands. The melee escalated. That shit was horrible. It did, oh. prompting the referees to call off the game before the final seconds could be played. In the end, nine players faced a combined total of 146 game suspensions, and five fans received lifetime bans from attending Pistons yeah. home games. This was I think they're going to call this game off, and that should be... Well, they owe now, so it don't even matter. The outcome is definitely decided. You have these ridiculous fans trying to go at the players and now throwing. Somebody could really get hurt. Pouring liquid over. What a disgraceful showing from the Pistons fans here. Building your online That's business. That's crazy.